Hi everyone, welcome to GFX Garage and today we are going to be learning the marquee tool. So what's the marquee tool? Basically, it's a simple way to make selections in the Photoshop. In this video, we are going to show you the rectangular, square, elliptical and circle marquee. We will also show how to show feathering so that the edges become softer. Then we will show you the selection fixed size, selection of fixed size and fixed ratio. We will learn how you can add, subtract, intersect from existing selections. So let's go ahead and jump into our Photoshop. Okay, let's leave this there first actually. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a marquee tool. You could grab it, you could hit M in your keyboard to grab the marquee tool or you could just click it here. It's a very simple thing, just click and drag to select. Now you are having an active selection on your image. The active area only allows you to edit the area within the selection. So this allows you to edit the area in the selection. For an instance, if you if you want to copy the area from one layer to another, I could click inside my selection and to move around. So I could click inside my selection to move my selection around. Like if for an example, like if you accidentally select the area, you could you could move. Like if I accidentally uh, move my uh, made this selection, what I would do is I would click in the center and then move my area. I would copy and paste that. I would copy it from Control or Command C, and I would paste it from uh, Control or Command V. So now you can see that the new layer has been moved. I would choose my move tool and I would hide this background and see my this layer 1. And now you can see that we just have the area that we had selected. So we just had the area that we had actually selected. I'm gonna delete the layer. I'm gonna just delete this layer. And uh, if you select, if you click on the shift key, and uh, you would have an aspect ratio. Like if I see my marquee tool, if I click the select key, you would have an aspect ratio. You would have, uh, it would create you as a square, or um, you would create a square. We will be taking the elliptical marquee tool now. Let's take an elliptical marquee tool. And here I could create any types of lips, like big, small, any type of thing we really want to. Okay. And if you're holding the shift key, it will make sure that you are making a circle. If you're holding the shift key actually with the elliptical marquee tool, it will make sure that you are actually making a circle. So, uh, in the marquee tool, you also have this uh, single row marquee tool as a single color marquee tool. But over here, we'll, um, I personally use the rectangular, mar rectangular and elliptical marquee tool. Let's go back to our elliptical marquee tool. I'll be making this area as a speech of type. I'll be making this area as a speech of type. Like, I'll be filling it with white. What I would do is I would select this area, create a new layer, then edit. Go to fill and contents will be white and click OK. So the area let's deselect it and let's do it. Let's click move tool. And the area we had actually selected, so let's control Z, control Z and let's do it. Feather would be actually zero. We'll do the feather later, but uh, edit, fill and then OK. So now you can see the area we have selected actually we have selected has been white has a white color so i'll draw an area right next to the boy i have made i'll make another layer and go ahead and click edit so this is what i have done I'll, i'm just duplicating it i'll make another layer and i'll go ahead and click edit and then click fill and we'll click on the white and that fills the area with white. And let I have deselected it and you could remove it from your move tool. And let's delete this image. Okay, let's go ahead.
ahead on a filling selections actually. So let's go ahead on a filling selections. Okay. So if I select the area, filling uh, feathering selections actually. Let's go ahead on our filling selections, which actually stop filling the edges. If I select the area and click on the edit, like if I just select this area and then I just click on edit, then fill and then click ok and now let's deselect it and now you can see that you have a very hard edges so this is with zero feathering so let's type some feathering as 30 pixels let's undo this control z and let's undo this okay let's make it new layer and uh, let's make it as this or let's feather it let's type something as 30 to 50 pixels Okay, I'll be selecting this area and then click on edit, fill and then OK. So now you can see the area we had feathered has, has a smooth edges. We will make a new selection. Okay, um, let's press deselect, control deselect. And oh. now you can see that the edge has, a, has gone softer. Let's undo this. First and try and uh, an, uh, another one. What we would do is we do hundred pixels and then we would enter it. Create this one. We would click on it rather than clicking on edit and then fill. You just have to do click shift and F five and then enter so that it would be filled. Okay. Okay. Now in the layer one you have the normal layer and you could also dissolve it then you have darkening and let's do it as a soft light so it actually looks good okay let's delete this layer and uh, let's now in an elliptical marker tool you have a style fixed ratio and a fixed size in elliptical marker tool or any marker tool you're using you have a style normal and a fixed ratio let's choose this um, rectangular marker tool and you have the same Let's do it as normal. And normal, you can make a square, a rectangular, or any shape you really want to. But in this, you have a fixed ratio where you can just make it as a square, nothing else except a square. If I do this five, so you can see that it's becoming a little rectangular shape. And if I do it as seven and enter, it's become just a rectangular shape, nothing like such like that. I'll do it. 10 and then enter and it's just a rectangular shape and then you have a fixed size like fixed size let me see if i have such mm, fixed size then the fixed size is like if i do it the width as 1000 actually let's do it just increase it and let's do the height increase this and you have just this thing let's do it once again and you have the fixed size we actually or really have here is becoming so it is what fixed size is okay normal fixed size and fixed ratio while holding this section you could create a selection like while holding this you could also move it from one place to another if i zoom in from control plus i could move it by space bar clicking and pressing space bar and then you could also move this and let's un uh, let's go back to a uh, like control zero. Okay. Keep, okay. Now, if I have this as normal, and I have selected this area, and I want to also select this area, but the area I selected first has disappeared. What I would do is I would select this area. I would press shift. And then to this area, I would just select this area, and this area has joined from one to another. Now, if we want to subtract from selection, what we would do is we would click on Alt. Then we have uh, we would select the area we have to subtract. I want to subtract this area. I would select this area, and this has area has subtracted. So this area has been subtracted. Okay, 
if I want to intersect from selection, if I really want to intersect from selection, what I would do is shift alt and then uh, have th that area which I really want. So I just have this area left. I'll click shift alt and drag for my intersect selection and it will just help us inter intersect between these two. If you do not want to learn this, that's okay. You can just choose it from like, when you go in the top corner, left corner, you have a new selection. You have add from selection, you have subtract from selection, and then you have intersect with selection. Where it makes a new, new selection, it adds a new selection, then it subtracts a new selection, and then it intersects a new selection. So, this was 